Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. 10 Creepiest Moments Caught on CCTV When we install CCTVs, the goal has always been to survey our surroundings intending to catch unlawful activities on the camera. However, the security camera also captures other things taking place that we may have missed to notice. Some of these moments are helpful, while others are terrifying moments that we wish to unsee. We have heard of ghost stories caught on CCTVs, and today, we're on a quest to show you the creepiest moments caught on CCTV and other home security devices. Let's take a look at them, and make sure to tell us in the comments which one of these creeped you out the most. Dobby heard Creature mention Harry Potter's name, I and just... then Dobby saw Creature talking with the thief. Number 10. A Strange Creature That Looks Like a Harry Potter Character in June 2019, Vivian Gomez posted a video on Facebook that went viral, not because it was a video of her looking good, but because nobody knew what was caught wandering around her neighborhood. The clip showed an alien-looking creature that strongly resembles Dobby the House Elf, a character from the Harry Potter films. The figure has wobbly legs and floppy ears joyously doing a chicken dance around the neighborhood. The video got over 9 million views over the days with people still wondering what it was. There was a theory that it may be a hoax video inspired by Dobby. What do you think it is? Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. The Mysterious Disappearance of Lars Mittank A 28-year-old German man, Lars Mittank, was on vacation in Bulgaria when he disappeared. He was last seen on the security camera footage of an airport running away from the medical office and into thin air. He vanishes into thin air as he is seen as if running for his life as far away as he could get. His mother reported that just before disappearing, Mittank had been behaving erratically and showing terrible signs of paranoia. To this day, it's still a mystery why he left like that, leaving his belongings at the medical office. Number 8. Man Holds Toddler Hostage in Walmart This is a more terrifying video than it is creepy. The CCTV at Walmart in Midwest City showed a man, Sammy Wallace, snatching a two-year-old girl from her mother's shopping cart and holding her at knife point. In the video, we see Wallace walking in Walmart and starting pushing the shopping cart while talking on the phone. We continue to see Wallace circling around the supermarket until he sees a woman, Alicia Keating, and her two daughters. Wallace keeps walking around the family and is seen to suddenly grab the small child from the cart while Keating's back is turned from them. Keating is seen to plead for Wallace to give her child back. People in the store approach and begin to call 911. The city police arrived and tried negotiating with him for more than an hour. Wallace threatened the girl with a knife and counted 60 seconds to end the child. The officer brings a chair for Wallace to sit, and as he continues to count, he shoots him on the head. Wallace's parents told the police that he had a long history of mental illness. The child was traumatized for a while, but is now back to her joyous self. Number 7. The Infamous Miami Cannibal Attack This footage caused a hot stir as people thought that a zombie was roaming the streets of Miami, Florida. The truth was a 31-year-old homeless man, Rudy Eugene, attacked another homeless man, Ronald Popo. Eugene had no clothes on when police found him eating off Ronald's face in daylight on a busy highway. He was still chewing off his face and was only stopped when the police fired four bullets at him. He had already gnawed the victim's face. The man was said to have shown behavior that was caused by ingesting the synthetic cocaine substitute known as bath salts. Popo, on the other hand, was taken to the Jackson Memorial Hospital for treatment. How insane is that? You never know what CCTV will capture. Up next is a story that will send a chill down your spine. Number 6. What Happened to Elisa Lamb? 
On February 19, 2013, the body of Elisa Lamb, a 21-year-old college student, was found floating in a rooftop water tank at the Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles, California. Medical examiners had started to believe that she had inadvertently drowned in the tank until the security footage outside showed otherwise. It had captured everything that went down that evening. The footage shows Lamb conversing with someone who isn't there, and she appears to be frightened and disoriented. The footage elicited more questions than answers, since the questions inflict many theories, and questions of how she died, which still remains a mystery. Number 5. Twin Sisters Repeatedly Run Out Into Traffic this incident was caught by both the CCTV cameras and a camera crew that was filming an episode of the BBC series Traffic Cops. Twin sisters Sabina and Ursula Erickson were running across the M6 highway when they were repeatedly struck by oncoming traffic. One of the twins, Sabina, had been hit head-on by a Volkswagen, while Ursula had been run over by a truck and her legs were crushed. Everything that happened was confusing as the twins were seen to have gone crazy. Everything happened very fast. Years later, the twins are still remembered as they were broadcasted on the 2010 BBC documentary, Madness in the Fast Lane. Number 4. Naked Peeping Tom and Ronald Reagan Mask This is a funny one depending on someone's sense of humor. Reality TV star Danielle Yancey and her husband Bart got the surprise of a New Year's Eve when a nude man crept into their breezeway wearing a rubber mask of the 40th U.S. President Ronald Reagan. Yancey's husband was taking the trash out when he caught a glimpse of a shadow in their breezeway. He yelled at him and tried to catch him, making the trespasser creep away. He called 911 and informed them of a nude trespasser. The police tried to look for him, but were not able to find him anywhere around the neighborhood. Some theories were saying that the guy didn't mean any harm and that it could have been a lost bet, a dare, or just a teenage New Year's Eve party gone out of control. Either way, Yancey posted on Facebook the photos and videos of the guy, saying that she hopes that something like that never happens again. La, la, la. Number 3. Bambi Rocking Horse This is completely bizarre and there is no explanation for this. Daniel Parker is a shopkeeper at Barnsley Antique Center in South Yorkshire. On Monday, he arrived at work and found a 1960s Bambi toy lying on the shop floor. Like a normal curious person, he decided to rewind the store's CCTV cameras to check what transpired, and what he saw had him horrified. The rocking Bambi was moving eerily despite nothing being near it. It just rocked slowly while stopping and rocking again. Then after a while, it flipped as if someone was getting off. He tried recreating the movement, rocking the toy back and forth as it was doing on the camera, but it was impossible to do so. He said that the movement could only be created when someone was on it. After having hundreds of unexplained events in his two years of owning the shop, his customers concluded that it's the ghosts of children. Some customers even claim that spirits talk to them while they're in the store, but we don't know what to believe. The shop was once an old mill in the 18th century before it became a baby care store, then Daniel's shop. So there could be a truth that the happenings are ghosts of children, but what do we know? And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in our future video. Number 2. Hero Nanny Saves Boy From Burglar In Home Jenna is one of the nannies that deserves a hero badge if not a raise. Jenna and the boy were out running errands when a burglar broke into the house. He was seen on the home surveillance cameras walking into the kitchen. He looks around and notices Jenna's purse and dumps her things onto the kitchen counter. He is seen leaving the kitchen and rummaging through rooms searching for any valuable item. He walks into a room, which later the father confirms it's the boy's room. Things get scarier when we see Jenna walk back into the house with the boy. He is seen on the cameras wandering in the kitchen when Jenna rushes in and carries him running outside to get help. 
Minutes later, the burglar rushes outside in the opposite direction. Everything happened so fast and it was amazing to see Jenna saving the child's life first. You could tell Jenna really cares about the boy. The thought of the parents coming home to see the camera footage gives me chills. That was sheer panic indeed. Number 1. Missy Bevers In a small town like Ellis County, Texas, where everybody knows everybody, it seems hard to keep secrets. And yet, there is one thing that nobody seems to know. The person who ended Missy Bevers' life. Missy Bevers was a 45-year-old fitness instructor. At around 4 a.m. on April 18, 2016, Bevers walked into Creekside Church in Midlothian ready to start her day by leading a workout. It seems that someone was already in there waiting for her. When her workout group arrived, they found her unconscious and bleeding from numerous puncture wounds to the head and chest. It was already too late to save her as she passed on the crime scene while waiting for the paramedics. A surveillance video showed the killer leaving and he slash she was oddly dressed in full SWAT gear, holding the hammer that is said to have been used as a murder weapon to bludgeon Bevers to death. Nobody still knows who it was to date. The question still runs in the community, who would want to kill Missy? And who was the person in SWAT uniform? Because it was certainly not a police officer, or was it? I don't know about you, but if the footage of CCTV could be made into a film, it would have some amazingly interesting episodes. The people working on that would never get bored.